I'm Bill Goods, a tour leader at St. Peter's Cathedral. Early in the 20th century, the dominant picture of Jesus in the cathedral was in the optimistic, triumphal picture of Jesus as king. The central Lady Chapel window in 1903 was reflected in the Reardos in 1910. But when, when William Pope gave the transept window in 1922, following the devastation and bloodiness of world war. The theme of Jesus crucified, suffering with and for the world, was very appropriate. Prior to that, the only portrayal of the crucifixion was in the large crucifix given by Earl Kintor in the late 1890s. But this window, <coughs> made in the Kemp Studios in London, places the central figure of the crucified Christ in two contexts. Alongside his figure are four Old Testament prophets whose writings talked about redemptive suffering. In the bottom row, though, there is John the Baptist holding a lamb and either side of him four early church teachers who explored the meaning of Christ's death on the cross. Ambrose, Jerome, Augustine and Gregory. Now each of the prophets holds a scroll with an inscription in Latin from their writings. Isaiah writes, he was wounded for our iniquities. Jeremiah in the second light says, See if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. Zechariah, to our right, says, What are the wounds in your hands? And Micah, O oh my people, what I have I done to you? John the Baptist holds the scroll, saying, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. While at the head of the window, the angels proclaim he sent redemption to his people. And at the foot of Christ is the statement, God so loved the world. More recently, this window has been placed in another interesting context, that of the military colours, flags and guidons laid up in the cathedral when the unit they were belonged to no longer needs them. These were originally displayed on the nave pillars, but were in 1990s conserved and displayed here. And so they powerfully represent war service placed in the shadow of the cross, like our war memorial cross in the cathedral and the cross of sacrifice across the road. The statue of Christ the King, made by Wojtemarek for St Barnabas College Chapel at Belair in the 1960s, stands beneath the crucifixion window as another picture of the significance of the cross, the strange throne from which Jesus the King rules. Some people like to call this window the love of God window. 